Hello, welcome to Color Me Whimsy. My name is Robin. Today I'm going to do a flip through of Beautiful Butterflies by Peter Gray. I got this book for my birthday and I'm, for my son. I was really excited to get it. Um, it's got some of the most beautiful images in it. There's the introduction. all of these pictures and it tells you the scientific name of each butterfly so you can look that up and which you know I'll show you in a second it's it's got the image on one side and the picture on the other so you can look at that image and make it exactly like the picture or you can do your own thing now if you look here um, this is blank right here. This has the uh, little sketched in trees maybe in the far background stuff down here. So you can add that in with the, with the pencil. Um, I'm thinking about trying these uh, charcoal pencils. I got these for my birthday at the same time for my same son. Um, so I don't know how that would work if it would smudge if you tried to you know color over the top of it I'm not real sure so if you know um, comment down below if you've used charcoal pencils before because I have not they're only short because they would not sharpen they kept breaking off so that's why they're, these two are shorter but I was gonna try that or I could try the graphite too and but I'm pretty sure pencil smears and I'm kind of thinking charcoal does too so I'm not real sure if that's gonna work out but I'm going to try it out because I'd like to to try to sketch in, even though I'm far from an artist, um, I'd like to try to sketch in those details just to give it some more oomph, you know. Which really, you wouldn't even have to color that part. You could just color the butterflies like they did and leave the rest um, just, you know, sketched. But anyway, it gives the names down below as well. And like I said, they're scientific names, so you'll just have to Google that and figure out. Um, what they, you know, what they look like. I mean, you have a picture of them here, but sometimes you see an image of it, you know, it's a little bit different than seeing something that's um, just colored in. So, really like this one. Very beautiful. There's a lot of good, there's, I mean, they're almost all good. They're just beautiful. If you love butterflies like I do, they're just beautiful. I haven't colored in this yet. I'm kind of a little nervous, so probably gonna do it soon. I'm just really nervous about it because I don't want to mess it up. And he also got me the charcoal because he thought that I could fill in the black with the charcoal pencil, which is a really good idea. So I'll probably be trying that too. And there'll be a link in the description down below if you want to purchase this book. It's at a very, very cheap price. Um, this book is actually from 2020. But I don't know, you know, how many people have seen it. So, um, you know, if you want to purchase it, just cl click that link. Love that they added the little, uh, I guess it's a, it's not an inchworm. I guess it's a caterpillar. Yeah. That one I don't care for as much. I'm not a fan of yellow. But you could color it any color you want, really. That's really pretty. I just think it would be fun to try to copy what they've done right here. And it wouldn't have to be exact. You know, you could do basically anything you want to do in that blank spot. If you want to do something a little different, then you can do that. really like that one, too. 
And this one's pretty, even though it has yellow in it. <laughs> Some more yellow ones. That's really pretty. I wouldn't even try to pronounce these names. I really like that one too. Sorry, pages sticking together. That one's really neat too. They only have one listed here, so I don't know if one's male, one's female. Hmm, I'm not sure. But this has got a lot going on. Even got the Looks like the empty cocoon there. Another really pretty one. They're all pretty. What am I saying? This one would be actually one of the most simple ones to do probably in the whole book. So that might be something I start with. Not a lot of colors, just yellow and black and some green. Maybe two different colors of yellow, yeah. There's some dark yellow right here and then through there. So this will probably be the first one I have to do just because I'm really nervous about. And there wasn't any drawings in that either in the background. It's another pretty one. Now those are like almost moths, like, I guess they're still considered butterflies. Those are pretty. And see they have them numbered I don't know if anybody noticed that there's one there's two and there's three that way you know exactly <coughs> excuse me that's pretty too oh my gosh I love this one That's just a whole bunch of caterpillars. It's not too hard either. I mean the coloring would be a little bit of a challenge but the background looks pretty simple. So that might be my second one that I do. So that's going to be it. There's the back. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this please hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. It helps my channel grow. And Thank you for watching. Bye.